黄导，是不是我们往前站一点？这个人靠靠的镜头近点，设备能够多拍一点。先采访，然后他们会往后退。啊，不，我我就说你们，我我们拍照片的，往前面站一点。啊，是不是可以多拍一点？对吧？Done with photos. Okay, so we can have uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe you can start describing the good friends when you come to the corner. Okay. 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 All right. We are not only bringing industrialization into the country, but we also want to take advantage of the current challenges that we have. There are opportunities that lie in every crisis. Zambia is grappling with the challenge of drought because of dependency on hydropower supplies. Years in succession in the past, as a country, we have not invested in alternative power sources. We have now moved into a phase of industrialization as espoused by the Eighth National Development Plan and instructed by the President. As United Capital Fertilizer has come on board to bring a paradigm shift from the continuous importation of fertilizer to now becoming the net exporter of fertilizer in the country. Already the farming seasons of our country in the past two years, making this one the third, we've depended on our own fertilizer production of G-compounds, which has stopped capital flight. But we have gone into an extra phase where we, now we are producing urea fertilizer. Earlier this year, the president came and did a groundbreaking ceremony this was just a bare bush, but we have now gone into a phase where by next year, January, we'll be producing urea fertilizer and we'll produce fertilizer for the entire country and exporting to the other parts of the region. Currently, we're exporting to Tanzania, Botswana, Zimbabwe, Malawi, and the DRC in the compound. Now we are going to do the same with urea, which will now bring more resilient and um, predictable forex for our country. But it is not only the production of urea that we are doing. I spoke about the drought and other things. There are emissions that come from industrial reactions and activities, steam and other things. What we are witnessing here today that I've come to do and receive and pay witness to it, bear witness to it, is an equipment that will be trapping and converting the steam that will be emitted from the chemical reactions of the construction of the rear and absorb that steam, convert it to power that will be used within this plant. The over-dependence on hydro has taught us a lesson and this will help us generate almost about 85 megawatts of power. But this plant only needs 40 megawatts. So the 45 megawatts will go into the grid system. Already United Capital Fertilizer have concluded talks with Zesco. Zesco just now needs to put in the transmission lines which has to go to the communities and environments. So this is how we can even stop load shedding. This is how we can stop our power cuts in future if we are investing in alternative power sources as much as we are investing into economies 
of scale and securities like fertilizer and many other things that we are doing. So we just want to appreciate what United Tractor Fertilizer has done. It's a demonstration and it is a way that they have led to also other investors. We've been talking, many people have been making pledges, but what is more critical to us is the reality of implementation of projects. We talked about being a net exporter of fertilizer. Here we are witnessing today. United Capital Fertilizer will not only produce urea and decompound, they've gone an extra mile even to produce phosphate. Phosphate has got many industrial uses. Zambian mines today have opened on the Koba Belt in Northwestern, here in Mumbu and Lusaka. They are importing phosphate. But the moment this plant gets fully actual, uh, actualized, phosphate will now just be produced in Zambia and will not only be used by our mines, it will also be exported to other mi mines across the region. And this is exactly what we want to do. And we want to call upon other investors that are setting industrial parks, industrial points, industrial uh, plants. We need to invest in alternative sources of energy as opposed to what we have always depended on. Zambia is endowed with coal. Coal is another important source of energy that we can use. They're using it here. The climb, people have been talking about climate effects of coal. There is technology now. This machine here is trapping the emissions of coal and heat and converting it into energy, energy that we can use as a country. So we just want to appreciate what United Capital Fertilizer has done. Not only industrialization part of it, there is a huge benefit, job creation. The decompound facility alone has got 1,000 direct jobs. Was a very critical part for having a rear plant operational and indeed also the power plant. You have correctly put it that the power plant will be producing 85. As we are talking with very advanced stage, almost done with Zesco to have this you know, uh, implemented. By March next year, we'll be totally out of Zesco and having power going into, into the grid. You've also further put it correctly that we are right now, if you look around, employing over 2,000 direct jobs. On the other side, where we have the, uh, uh, the D compound, we actually have more than 1,000 you know, uh, direct jobs that side. So in just the two sites, as we are talking, we have more than 3,000 workers. And once this is completed, we'll add another 1,000 to 1,500. So we'll be talking of 5,000 workers, you know, uh, within the UACF you know, uh, uh, operations. But what is important, again, you've alluded to that, is the fact that today we are totally self-sufficient as a country in terms of decompound production. We are actually producing, we have the capacity to produce 800,000 metric tons of decompound. And that's why people have seen that we're exporting throughout the region. Literally each and every country around us are with us. We've already started exporting. We started last year, and as we're talking, trucks are going into, into Tanzania. Some trucks are going into, into uh, Zimbabwe, exporting the fertilizers. Now, the other important thing that uh, really I think the country should know, as of now, we have already, as a company, distributed all the physical fertilizers that were allocated by government. They are already in store in various parts of the country. And secondly, for the e voucher which sometimes we have to, to do a good job, for us, as UCF, we have fertilizers available. Fertilizer is there. And wherever, I would like to really assure you, wherever there will be hiccups for certain individuals or companies that may have been given an opportunity to supply, if they do not do that, please let us know. We'll make sure that we supply. We cannot afford as a country again to lack fertilizers. We have as a country, Minister, already achieved seed production. We are self-sufficient as a country and we are the biggest exporter of seed, the whole of Africa. Now I would like now to be the biggest producers and exporter of fertilizers. We are almost there. So once you have your fertilizer in place, you have your seed in place, there's no reason why this country should not be a net exporter of agricultural products. And agricultural products, Minister, is not just maize. It is soya, it is wheat, it's fruits, it, literally everything this country can produce. So we are very thankful to the board and management of Yusef for having found time 
to be with us. We are very thankful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just in my concluding remarks, I would want to urge the media. The media, you are critical in transforming the minds and uh, opinions of the public. You need to be taking keen interest in such development agendas. Please, even on your own, come and see the progress that is being done here. This is for the benefit of not Chipoka, not Haka in the not Mr. Kavai here, but for the public, for the now and future generations. So let us build this economy together. You are the fourth estate. You have a mandate and a responsibility to make sure that the public out there know what is happening. There are those who are looking for opportunities, but they don't know about them because we have not reached out to them as a media. So let's reach out to them. It is such that brings positive opinions. It is such that brings knowledge and information on how every citizen should appreciate, should approach anything happening in their country. So let's work together. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to just find out from you at what phase uh, the construction has reached and also the exportation of power. Is it going to be through corporate social responsibility or net neutrality? We have not reached that level in terms of how power is going to be used, but we do know that we need 40, 40 megawatts for our own operations. Then the 45 is going to the national grid. National grid then is distributed accordingly by um, by by Cesco. And uh, in terms, where are we in terms of uh, you know uh, 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 development? We probably at slightly over 50 percent. As we said, by January next year, we have completed the whole process. We did indicate when the president came and launched. We said this is going to take two years. You know the operation. So come January, it will be around two years, in fact, slightly lower than two years, but this plant will be fully operational there. We're always ahead. We'll give some time, space, but we just finish all right, because we work 24 hours. There's no resting, as you've seen. If you come tonight, it's the same. The same way, they keep on changing. So we're always here to make sure come January next year, it's fully operational. How many dollars are you spending to bring this machine? Well, just for the urea plant, it's going to cost us $585 million. Let's just round to say $600 million. But when you add other sources and what we spent on the other side, on the deep you know, um, uh, factory, the total cost is going to be Eight hundred and ninety-eight million. Let's round it to say nine hundred million dollars. As you may know, the biggest plant that Africa has is the Dangote plant in Nigeria, which is one point two billion dollars. So this plant is going to be the second biggest plant in Africa, and you can imagine this kind of investment. And that's why I echo what the Minister of Trade and Industry is saying. Please let us invest in proper industries, proper industrialization. If there were a few, four or five companies like this, Zambia would be a different, a different country to talk about. Okay, so when you say dollar, do you mean um, Kwacha or United States? No. Of course, dollar is dollars. <laughs> that's a dollars. <laughs> I wouldn't know that, uh, yeah, agenda. Uh, agenda. Uh, I'm not sure how many women, but normally when you have the construction, there are normally no men.